A young African just did the impossible. He not only built a self-sustainable free electricity generator that runs till eternity, he shared the blueprint and the interesting part before the end of this video. I will be sharing this clip with you. This is not Maxwell self-powered technology. This is yet another jaw-dropping, brutal uppercut tech, giving the established norms a middle finger unapologetically. What if I told you that the very world you are currently living in as I speak is rigged to keep you slowed down, weak, plugged, unproductive, dependent, caged, for one purpose only, for easy control and manipulations? I suppose that's mainstreamed, but if you miss this cold realities, the truth is here, to manipulate a thinker? Well better start rolling up your sleeves cause it will be easy to race a snail against Japanese maglev train and win than to manipulate thinkers. <laughs> so what did they do? They thought you how to read and not to reason, how to buy and not to build, to comply not to buy by the time you are done buying. You will spend the rest of your life working to pay for being plugged. It's time to unplug you now, and this video will do just that by the end of this video. Before this day, the world had free and abundant energy that powered literally everything, including floating cities that hung in the air like defiant gods mocking gravity. They have levitation technologies and EV in the past 3,000 years before now. So what happened? Them all. Just imagine that for a second. Metropolises soaring on invisible waves, no clunky cables, no bill collectors knocking, pure utopia. But they keep telling us it's conspiracy theories. What are they trying to bury this time? Perhaps another reset must be doing push-up. Lunatic ravings from the fringe. Here's the bunker-busting bombshell. Archaeological evidence of the past civilizations is just too monumental to be ignored, as in it lies freedom from chains and greed of the big industries. As is too damn hard to bury completely. Structures like Egypt's pyramids or Peru's Sacsayhuaman walls scream advanced tech, stones fitted without mortar, no wires cluttering streets, yet somehow energized. How the hell did they do it? Lost knowledge of atmospheric energy taps, crystal grids, or something the elites don't want you digging up. Here is the one of the uncomfortable questions that is just too rigid to be swept under carpet. Just imagine for a second, if ancients had it, why are we slaving to sockets? Because control equals cash, sucker. November 2025, and a young man from Africa made it happen not some polished TED talker, but a raw off-the-grid genius is setting the internet on fire, splitting humanity into skeptics' denial cult and the defiance warriors ditching their power cords. This isn't pie-in-the-sky theory, it's boots-on-the-ground demonstrated, captured on video that'll nuke your indoctrinated brain. So Chinedu, he's this 18-year-old school dropout from rural Nigerian school system that aren't graduating inventors, thinkers, or change makers, but workers and perpetual job hunters? This guy with his raw, untamed ingenuity torched the rulebook. What exactly did he do this time, you asked? Well, he slapped together savage material from different components and built a functional infinite electricity generator from junkyard scraps in his mud hut workshop. No batteries, no solar gimmicks, no windmill eyesores, no begging the grid overlords, just endless juice created from what trolls and new religion of Western hypocrisy will call skeptics. I call them pest. If you think that was impressive, wait until witnesses what he did next that finally set internet ablaze with loads of questions about how that was made possible. In that explosive August 2025 TikTok clip became a detonator, which honestly racked up views faster than a cat video now here where things went from was to fully ballistic when he slipped the switch an electricity bulb light up without hesitation. The crowd watch intensifies their voice, and just at this very moment of glory, the very internet you knew and comments section where the video clip of this event that took place occurred, became a battlefield, a war zone between the positive optimistic set against the destructive skepticism. 
they scuffed its impossible and quote all the laws you will never imagine possible. At this juncture, I was poised to ask one devastating question that further added more fuel to the escalating thunderous wars that is being fought from the comfort of their phone keyboards raining like bullets and landmines in the comments section, I could feel every smartphone screen getting hit up back to back, screaming like another corn star in chaotic moaning scene, that it's hard to distinguish if it's pain or pleasures of ecstasy, perhaps a bit of both. I was expecting 1,000 body bags for TikTok documentary, but guess what happened next? He did what the West will consider to be impossible, instead prefers to die with the knowledge, Andrew Chinedu. Next move was like a digital mic drop, the kind that its silence could be felt from the very fabrics and Connor of the world. And here is where things hit full throttle, as Andrew go on to explain how his infinite electricity generator operating principles, which by every technical and logical approach, it will run till eternity. This was a second digital mic drop that started the second phase of World War III that I predicted will be fought without guns or bullet, but keyboard strokes from every cell phone device. What happens next will change your perception trajectories and uproot the false indoctrinations and laws they caged your brain with, as you will start seeing certain comments source under this video as agent of destruction. Here's the brutal punchline. While Ivy League eggheads are busy, uh, circle jerking over what's impossible or not, this kid's out here powering his whole village for basically nothing. While most keyboard ninjas are busy destroying the seed of reality about this technology, China is busy masses producing this free electricity generator raking billion dollar in revenue, and to add salt to injuries, most of you will still get caged to believe it's impossible. However, the moment of truth is now, carefully watch this video clip and everything thing changes, and tell me what you think in the comments section. I will be back shortly afterwards. This is a bucket, this is electric motor, this is the alternator, the generator. This is what we call free energy, free generator. 24 hour power supply, 7 days in a week, 30 days in a month, day and night. It has the capacity to steam for 1 year, 5 years, but you will change the battery once every 5 years. And once you, once you, plug, once you use this battery to start this generator, start this electric motor, for this generator to produce electricity, once electricity power comes in here, you plug your charger here, the charger continues charging the battery. The battery will never run down, it maintains the constant voltage. But you just to change the battery after five years. Every five years you change the battery. Then if you power it on, once you start it, you now have your power supply. Wow, this is wonderful. I swear. That technology this And increase the voltage as you want. There is one. Hey. There is one. Yes, I am certain you are done watching that secret of infinite electricity generator. So go ahead, professors. Eat your thermodynamics textbook. Let me see the other version of the coin you are made of. This beast is, you know, silently causing nuclear-level commotion in the big Western tech market. Just picture those Silicon Valley suits hyperventilating and big oil barons popping Xanax like it's candy. Why, you ask? Well, scale this thing and poof, trillion-dollar empires could just vanish overnight.
There are whispers, right? Of patent sabotage and investor blacklists. But honestly, the genie's already out of the bottle. Skeptics? Those soul-sucking pests of modernity infest every thread like roaches in a dumpster. Fake. Energy laws broken. They wail, planting disbelief seeds with their garbage hypotheses. My bet? They're basement-dwelling trolls or corporate bots too chicken shit to test it themselves. Every infinite energy rant I drop draws them out, flooding comments with debunked drivel. But what if their science is just a fancy cage to keep you paying? Skeptics scream hoax from mom's Wi-Fi, while Andrew Chinidu device laughs, humming forever. Who's the real perpetual motion machine? Your denial. All the while, silent Chinese tech hustlers are cranking out clones and stacking cash, hawking them worldwide and unshackling the masses from utility tyrants. Outfits like Shenzhen's knockoff kings list air-powered infinite genes on Alibaba, 10 kilowatt monsters for peanuts, no fuel needed. A February 2025 vid exposes their self-powered car knockoffs shocking US engineers. Bye-bye, China? Nah, Africa's blueprint, Beijing's bankroll. Buyers in Asia and Africa swear by them, off-grid bliss. Brutal punchline. Western doubters nitpick pixels and demos, but China's minting millionaires off your skepticism. Your impossible is their invoice. Suck it up. Here's the plot twist, gnawing my nights, a fire in my gut to torch poverty. This free energy vibe, perpetual, eternal, zero inputs, hit me like ancestral whispers, intuition downloading blueprints. I dove into datasets, unearthing dirt that'll make you view your smart fridge as a rigged vampire, siphoning your wallet to fatten the few while billions starve in poverty pits. Before today, electric cars cruised sand stations, hoverboards skimmed air, hoverbikes buzzed skies, spacecraft sipped infinite volts, homes birthed their own power. Energy saturated everything, even now. It's in the vibes, the fields, the damn humidity. So what nuked it? Greed's iron fist, burying tech to monopolize meters. Here is a something to chew cord with Tesla and I mean Nikola, not Elon, had wireless free power towers, until bankers yanked plugs, cause there was just no profit in plenty. Shit gets insane. Ancient vibes healed sickness by juicing human frequencies. Copper charged our drinking water, since bodies are electric fluid machines. Copper pipes hummed health, zapping bugs naturally, but swap to rubber crap? Planet hemorrhages, ozone shredded, we're freaking ticking bombs, hooked on Big Pharma's customer conveyor belt, not cures. Intense in their endless roller coaster trap and asking for more pills. Here is the brutal punchline. They traded miracle metal for poison plastic to peddle your pain. Your progress is their profit prison. Wake up or keep popping pills like a chump. Reclaim this tech, revive the old ways and boom. Healthier than gods, productive as machines. So, this blueprint? It's like, well, a big middle finger to Western norms, you know? It's exposing them as manipulation muzzles, really keeping you debt drowned. So, here's the epicenter. An African dropout, Mr. Nobody, saving the globe again. Andrew's air gen, yeah, it echoes all across the continent. Malawi's miracle, Zimbabwe's echoes. But honestly, his vid just hits like a hammer. All right, here's a cliffhanger for you. What's hiding in your garage scraps? Build it, break free, bankrupt the bastards. And now, the video clip. Just, uh, envision Andrew's calloused hands, twisting wires, the generator whirring to life, lights eternal, poverty's death knell, foundations, 
Yeah, just obliterated. Brutal punchline for you. Still skeptical? Stay plugged in, peasant, while the defiant unplug and rise. Bro, Africa got buildings? <laughs> they got power <laughs> Not yet! <laughs> <laughs> Swear on everything, bro. I thought it was just play and try bro. Yeah, cut the ground be like, you know, like that, that red orange type of play, bro. Chat, don't don't act like I'm stupid. Bro, Africa got buildings.